Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and happy signing day to you. You heard the good remarks from the gentle lady across the aisle there about how this budget doesn't serve everyone in Washington, but it actually does. It serves everyone in Washington in every legislative district in every corner of this state. And I'm so proud to have worked with the good gentle lady from the 43rd and the 11th that you heard earlier today about their focus and the intensity about making sure that this budget is serving everyone and what it's doing. But the good chair of the appropriations said at one point that this budget helps people who help people. And that's true, that's what this is doing. You know, equity is ensuring that you lift the people up higher who need us more. That's what government does. That's what this budget does. We provide access to people who need health care and child care, regardless of their immigration status. That's what this budget does. We provide partnerships with organizations to ensure that we have a strong safety net, whether it's digital equity, food, housing, cash assistance, because we know intergenerational poverty is of no fault of their own, but the likelihood of their family being torn apart is high. This budget recognizes that and invests in that. You know, my good seatmate, she's been steadfast about the 988 call centers. This budget invests higher than that, upstream, to ensure that no matter who you are, where you call, and what your need is, there's hope on the other side of that call. There are services on the other side of that call. I'm so proud today to be voting yes for this budget, and I hope that you'll join us in voting yes too. Thank you.